here we have a nice comb back rocking chair circa 1770 to 1790 I believe it was made in Connecticut this chair unlike most rocking chairs of the period was made initially or originally as a rocking chair Let me give you a close up you can see some of the spindles are pinned with square pins. There's the ear, it's uncarved, which is pretty typical of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. But when you come down and you look at that arm support, the spindle, that's very typical of Connecticut. And Connecticut also did not carve their ears. This originally was painted green, then black, then red. And that's also, all three of those colors are on all parts of the chair, including the rockers. When you come down here, you look at the stretchers. It's function over form. And when you look down here at this, I'll just move the chair a little bit. You could see the thickness of the bottom of the leg in order to accept the rocker and the stretcher. And if I can get down in here, I'm not sure if I could show it. That's beveled. All four legs on the outside and inside are beveled. And they would never do that converting a rocking chair. Because when they converted a rocking chair, Somebody had to hold the chair as they cut, and they wanted to minimize any damage possible. This is a very, very thick plank seat. That is really thick, almost two and three quarters inches, probably because uh, rocking chairs endured more stress from rocking, and it, uh, the seat on Windsor is a very important as it accepts the spindles and all the supports so they wanted it thick and what's unusual about this chair is when you look at the seat it's very narrow it's wide normal width but it's very narrow and that's to allow a woman with a hoop skirt to get in and press her back up against the back of the chair without her hoop skirt catching on the supports the support arms. Sometimes these are called hoop skirt rockers. Those spindles, very Connecticut. The bottom sk uh, spindles are wider in the middle than at either end. That's very Connecticut. But then the top of the comb, they're not. These would have been ordered by a woman. Of course these were utilitarian furniture. They weren't generally used by anyone in the home but the, the uh, mother to rock the baby outside or on the porch. Pine seat, maple legs. The uh, arms are oak. I believe the spindles are hickory and so isn't the crest. So a nice original rocker. Collectors are always looking for the original rockers. Very rare to have original rockers pre-1800. There are some out there. Most are chairs that were converted. So that's my 1770s to 1790s comb back rocker, original. Thanks for watching.